If you can't resist a free meal or just like to taste unusual foods, the state fairgrounds are your spot for this weekend. Channel 3's Bill Beagle is standing by live to give us a sample and show us some added attractions. Bill? You bet, Phyllis, if you haven't had dinner yet, and I'm sorry, I know you came to work hungry today. This is the place to be. There are salt potatoes and hot dogs and all sorts of snack foods and yogurt and ice cream. But the best part is they're also feeding the coffers for the Burnett Park Zoo because all the proceeds from the admission fee here go to the building fund at the zoo, which is scheduled to reopen again in June of 1986. And curator Don Moore is with us. I suppose activity must be heating up. You're a little over a year away now, getting pretty excited. Sure. We're about uh, three-quarters done in, bu in building. We're starting to acquire animals now. One of our new elephants is here at the food fiesta, Romney. Um, she's an eight-year-old female, and she's currently housed at the Buffalo Zoo. But, yeah, we're real excited about buying animals and bringing them in for the public to see. It's great. Uh, the most closest experience to us, and there's Romney right now. We got some shots of her earlier when we were outside. The closest any of us come to that is maybe a trip to the pet store. How do you go about buying? Obviously, when you go to pick up an elephant from a circus that's disbanding, as you said Romney came from, you want to be careful what kind of animal you're getting. That's right. We go down. When we buy a very expensive animal like Romney, we take a trip down to see that animal before we purchase it. Uh, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to see a group of macaques that we're paying about $5,000 for. Macaques are snow monkeys from Japan. Um, we have to be very careful about which animals we buy and don't buy. So we, we travel around the country or we at least see pictures of the animals before we purchase them. Thank you, Don. It looks like you're in for a big weekend here. They expect more than 20,000 people to come through the gates. And, Melissa, maybe you'll get a chance to stop out. Well, I'm hoping you're going to be bringing back some samples, Bill. We'll stuff our pockets with some salt potatoes. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. Now let's meet a man. Elephants are just very intelligent, large beasts, and uh, they're just a lot of fun to work around. Elephants are very social animals, and they're real gentle with the people that work around them. They treat them as part of the elephant herd, um, and that's why it's such a pleasure to work around them. 